And welcome to another Cougar Conversation. My name is Jerem Jordan. Today I'm chatting with KSL Radio's voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Greg, how's it going? It's going great, Jerem. So you've been the voice of the Cougars for a while now, basketball since 96, football since 2001. How would you get into this mess in the first place? I decided rather early that I think it would be something I'd like to do. And I recall being a kid um, touring radio stations and TV stations and getting a feel for what the business was all about. And then um, once I graduated high school, came down here to BYU, I got involved at KBYU and uh, kind of got put to work immediately. It's a good place right here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and they were uh, not afraid to uh, um, put me on the air early um, as young as a 17-year-old, just a freshman here at BYU. And uh, once that got going, I kind of uh, was bitten by the bug for good, and um, we were off and running. Yeah. So what was your big break? And when I was hired at KSL, I, I was lucky enough to be uh, um, part of the broadcast crew with Paul James, who, of course, called BYU Sports for you know, 35 years. I was doing sidelines while he was, of course, doing play-by-play. -play. He suffered what turned out to be kind of a, a minor heart attack in the pregame of BYU in Utah back in 1996. Um, he agreed to stay on and continue doing the game that day, but he was you know, in, in, some, in, some, in some danger there. And when the game was over, he went to the hospital and he was told he'd have to have six bypasses the next, you know, the next Monday. And so I remember getting a call at my house, I think on the Saturday night after the football game, Paul saying, you better get on a plane to Seattle because uh, you've got a basketball game Monday night. Uh, I said, really? And that was it. That's kind of how it happened. And so... Um, you know, one day I'm doing sidelines for PJ, and the next day I'm 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 doing his job uh, in Seattle as BYU played Washington in that 1996-97 uh, uh, basketball season. So that was, I guess, you know, the break, if you will. It was my first play-by-play -play experience, and of course Paul came back once he got well, uh, finished off the home conference season, um, and kept doing football for a few more years. But he decided to just to hang it up for basketball, and that kind of put me in the chair the next year. Uh, while Paul was away, I did call one football game. Uh, the WAC championship of 1996, BYU-Wyoming in Vegas, went to overtime, a real thriller there. So um, that's kind of sometimes how it happens, that suddenly. Um, was I ready? I don't think so. But uh, I got through it, and here we are. In 2006, back to Harleen, that's a famous call for BYU sports fans. It made uh, the Dan Patrick show. I know they played it and had a good time with it. Yeah. Caught for the touchdown, caught for the touchdown. I guess just walk us through that moment and how you described it, and would you say it the same way now? Uh, I have no idea how it came about. And plenty of time, plenty of time. He's moving to his left, shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. All kinds of time. Now the heat comes. He's got to run to the right. John Beck is on the run. He throws behind him. It is caught for the touchdown! Caught for the touchdown! Caught for the touchdown! Johnny Harleen got it for the score! When you're in the play, you just hope to get the basics right. Um, you know, who threw it? Uh, was it caught? Who caught it? What does it mean? Uh, those are the basics. And how it all came about, there was no plan. There can't be really. Um, you know, would I have done it the same way? Probably not. There were enough things about it that I, that I found I could go back and change for the better. Uh, but I think people like it the way it was, and, and then that, that's the important thing. But yeah, I mean, there's no doubt. With as much, um, you know, replay as that got or scrutiny it got, uh, there's no doubt I went back and thought, oh, I could have done this, 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 and this differently. But it is uh, the way it was, and, and for better or for worse. Did you notice when you made the call that Ralph Zokolowski was screaming like a girl? Yes. Caught for the touchdown! Caught for the touchdown! Caught for the touchdown! I don't think I made a conscious, uh, I don't think I had a conscious realization what he was doing because um, he'd done it before. Doman shotgun on the keeper option look. Does toss to Luke. Luke on the sidelines. 20 to the 15, going to go! Touchdown, BYU! <laughs> yeah, that was kind of, at that moment I realized what he could do and how it could sound. Caught for the touchdown! Caught for the touchdown! Caught for the touchdown! It was the icing on the cake of that yeah, call. We, we, had, we had to convince everybody that is indeed a male human being making that sound. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Do you have a timetable for how you, long you want to do this? Uh, I, I, I was just wondering, I don't know why. I was just, <laughs> just wanted to ask you. Do you need a date is right it, now? Is it 20 years? Yeah, is it 30? Uh, I think I'd like to do it as long as um, as long as uh, the powers that be allow me to. Um, so 25, I'll start counting. <laughs> I can't see myself getting too tired of it too quickly. I won't be doing it when I'm um, uh, 70. I may not be doing it when I'm 60, but I, I think I could last till I'm 50. Uh, I'm already in that decade right now. I'm 41. Um, and, and so, um, you know, at least, at least that long and maybe a little longer. It depends. I mean, I still feel very young. I feel like I could do it for a while. But I won't stick around too, too long. And when I feel like you're really breathing down my neck, I'll, I'll get out. Well, Greg, thanks for the time, and uh, good luck as always. Jerem, my pleasure.